we have already studied about the essence of renaissance right so uh, the ideal essence of renaissance was based on the aspects of reason and logic therefore scientific thought was developed because of these tenets of logic and reasoning now of course uh, renaissance would also therefore impact this particular field in the society which was science now the scientific uh, revolution or the scientific progress we see that it complemented renaissance does this scientific progress then led to various inventions and innovations um, in various fields of science right now the, these inventions and innovations uh, were basically happening because now uh, the individualistic approach had already come into being people were asking questions they were researching and a tradition of research developed which encouraged the, these like minded uh, uh, people to come together and form scientific communities on the basis of experimentations slowly and steadily therefore we see that these individuals um, are experimenting observing and propagating a, a new scientific thought right now earlier uh, the idea was that the the earth was in the center of the universe right and later on it changed to the fact that sun was the center of the earth but who did this this idea was first stated by nicolas copernicus and in his famous work de revolutionibus orbium coelestium we see him introducing the heliocentric view which means heli helio means uh, the sun and centric is basically the sun being the center of the universe this is the exact system that copernicus introduced so the sun was static right the sun was situated in the middle which became the heliocentric model of the solar system that we till date follow now this is a painting by jan metiko who was a polish artist okay and he drew copernicus observing the skies the heavens that is why it is named as astronomer copernicus or conversations with god which was painted in 1873 so then can you tell me who introduced the heliocentric view of the solar system was it newton was it galileo or was it copernicus that's right it was copernicus so just like copernicus then we will move on to the next eminent personality in the scientific field now here you can see the father of modern observational astronomy so we understand that it was not only the uh, field of science that was seeing progress but also the field of astronomy now this um, progress was brought about by galileo galilei so galileo galilei introduced the telescope with a view of 30% more magnification so here we can see that galileo galilei is standing with his telescope now galileo galilei also wrote or published the book on astronomical views which is known as siderius nuncius in 1610 and what he essentially did in this book is that he spoke about the four moons of jupiter okay so do you recognize who this person is that is absolutely correct it is isaac newton Isaac Newton was the gift to the modern world by the renaissance period who propounded 
the gravitational theory and other path breaking scientific concepts. So can you tell me any other concept in physics that um, Isaac Newton devised? That's right, it is the Newton's laws of motion. So Newton was um, uh, one of the greatest scientific minds that even the Renaissance period saw. So uh, Albert Einstein in fact has stated that uh, you know no other scientific mind was as enriched as Isaac Newton's. Therefore we see in 1687 Isaac Newton published his most important work called the Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, which stands for Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy. Thus, in Newton's Principia, we see that he had developed the first set of unified scientific laws. So the book you see here is the famous book written by Isaac Newton, which was called the Principia, right? Now, then after Isaac Newton, we also see other uh, eminent personalities in the field of science like Johannes Kepler. Now, Johannes Kepler was a German scientist and he set to work on the orbit of mass. Now Kepler um, observed and he uh, stated that all planets move in elliptical orbits with sun at the focus. So as pointed out by Kepler, all the planets moved in elliptical orbits keeping the sun in focus. Now this um, observation was uh, mentioned in his first book around 1596 which was called Mysterium Cosmographicum like you can have a look here. And then we come to the field of chemistry. Now in the field of chemistry Robert Boyle, Honorable Robert Boyle is known for his pioneering experiments on physical properties of gases and he is known as the founder of modern chemistry. Thus we see that the scientific uh, reason and logic uh, created these path breaking discoveries in the renaissance period that ultimately had an effect on the modern world that we live in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly, learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So, at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So, register for free now.